Starting January 2025, it'll be mandatory for all lambs and kids born to be electronically identified before they leave their property of birth, just as required for cattle. Some producers are already on board, and in Victoria it's been compulsory since 2017. Now other states and territories are working with industry to deliver a national system ahead of the 2025 deadline. So what is an EID? It's an electronic identification device that has an internal microchip with a unique serial number that is linked to the unique code printed on the outside of the device. It's attached to an individual sheep or farmed goat in the form of an ear tag or leg band for some goats. The EID can be scanned with a reader to enable more efficient and accurate capture of individual data for recording movement between properties on the National Livestock Identification System, NLIS, database. The NLIS is Australia's system for the identification and traceability of cattle, sheep and goats. What do producers need to do to get started? Firstly, you need to be registered as an owner of stock with your state or territory agriculture department. This will provide you with a property identification code, a PIC, for your property where you keep your stock. You may have more than one PIC. Then you register for an NLIS account. Next, purchase your preferred EID devices and an applicator. Make sure that you specify that you need sheep or goat devices when you place your order. EIDs are species specific and you cannot use cattle devices on sheep or goats. If you move stock between properties with different picks regularly, you'll need a reader or scanner to record animal IDs when they move. As always, it's the receiver's responsibility to complete property-to-property -property transfers on the NLIS database. A computer and your NLIS login through MyMLA will enable you to do that. Sale yards and processors will need to install EID readers have the software to record the electronic devices and make the movement records that they're required to on the NLIS database. Other optional equipment that can be used with EID readers and software include automatic drafters, scales and hook tracking. Why do we need a nationwide EID system? Well, EIDs make tracing individual animals faster and more accurate because each animal of interest can be traced rather than every animal on a property. That's critical when responding to food safety issues or an outbreak of an emergency animal disease like foot and mouth disease. The NLIS database records the location of each EID which identifies where an animal has been, which other sheep and goats they've mixed with, as well as the livestock's destination and current location. The faster we can trace animals during a food safety or disease outbreak, the greater the chance of controlling the impact, with fewer animals and producers affected. Electronic identification also unlocks new possibilities for producers to collect and use individual animal data, including health treatments, fertility, genetics, weight gain and wool traits. Australia's NLIS is a world-leading animal traceability system. The move to electronic individual identification for sheep and goats allows for a faster response to a biosecurity threat to minimise the impact on our industry and ensures we can continue to protect Australia's reputation as a world-class, safe producer of red meat.